Today I will tell you how to test the PCB of the inverter AC outdoor unit, and how to check whether your PCB is good or bad. See this. I have made a tester with LED lights. Through this, I will test the PCB board. I will also test the PCB board with bulbs. And explain how to understand whether the compressor is faulty or the PCB. Let me explain about these bulbs. These are 100 watts bulbs. I have made holes in the wood piece. And this wood piece is a stand for the bulbs. Now I am passing the wires through these holes. You can make it according to your need and idea. And I have made it for my ease that when I work with these bulbs, I can avoid difficulties while working with it. You can use simple bulb holders instead of this as well. Now I am putting the other wires inside the wood hole as well. Now I've come to the outdoor unit, where first, with the help of these two bulbs, I will show you the PCB board test. And how will we know whether the PCB is faulty or not? These wires are coming out from the PCB. You will have to disconnect them from the compressor. To know whether the PCB is okay or not. Now I will use these wires I had connected with the bulb. The double red wire I have attached with W, the black with U, and the other black wire with V. You can attach any of the black wires with V or W. Now, first of all, I will pass electricity through the AC unit. And I have already wired the indoor with outdoor unit. As the PCB powers on, you will see the bulbs glowing. And now the electricity will pass through the outdoor unit. So, the electricity has passed through the outdoor unit, and the output has come to the outdoor PCB. The bulbs glowed for some time and then stopped. It means that the outdoor PCB is passing electricity to start the compressor. And due to this, both the bulbs switched on and then switched off as the PCB found no feedback from the compressor, so they stopped glowing the bulbs. The PCB control thought that the compressor was not starting. That's why it stopped passing electricity. This way, you can understand your PCB is working fine. The PCB IGBTs are also okay. Now let us show you the next test. Now I will test the PCB through the analyzer I made. So it has WV and U. And connects it with the same wires we connected the bulbs before. This pink wire I will attach with W. V with the white wire. And blue with U, or black wire of the compressor terminal. The bulb and analyzer test is different because the analyzer has 6 LED lights. And it shows the X working inside the IPM through glowing on the analyzer. These tests are good for the technicians who works at the site. And it's good to have one of the PCB analyzer, or two of the bulbs. Then you can quickly test the PCB board. But if you are in the workshop, you may use a multimeter for testing the PCB. Let me pass electricity to the AC and check how this analyzer works. So I gave electricity to the AC. It will approximately take 3 minutes for the compressor to start through the PCB board. And see, it means all the IGBTs are working, and the IPM is ok. The PCB is working fine. The microcontroller is running the IGBTs run and making them on and off perfectly. This means that your PCB is ok and working fine, and it has no fault in it. Now I will show you the analyzer by attaching it to the compressor. I will pass electricity again. The unit has turned on. And you will see that all the IGBTs in the PCB will work fine. See all the IGBTs for the compressor have turned on, the analyzer is showing us. As the compressor speeds up, these lights get brighter. This means that your PCB is entirely ok, and as the compressor is also running, it means that the compressor is also ok. This way, you can test whether the fault is in the PCB or the compressor. If the analyzer shows the PCB OK and when you connect it with the compressor and it does not start, as the winding of the compressor you test is OK, it is a mechanical problem in the compressor. Then you will have to change its compressor. And if the compressor starts and stops after 2 to 5 seconds, your compressor is still faulty. Then this way, you can analyze it. And these were its tests you can perform them efficiently. This was for today's video. I will see you at the next one. Watch our next video by clicking on the left or right thumbnail on the screen. And subscribe. It's free.